Welcome into this edition of EPAC All Access as we kick off the 2023 season live from Hedgesville Eagles football camp here in Hedgesville. Spencer Boy joined alongside Colin McLaughlin and Nick Verzellini. Happy to have you with us as uh, the countdown to football season is here. We are under a few weeks away from this thing and uh, it's second day of camp here. We're out at Hedgesville Eagles football practice and uh, this team's got a, a better vibe. It had a good vibe last year when we were here, but I think it's got an even better one this year. Yeah, they made the playoffs last year, so the expectations to do that yet again and still find a way to improve. Looking forward to hearing from some of these upcoming stars, guys like Aiden Fleming, Gavin Young are here now in this transfer portal. They showed up to try to help the Eagles out, and we get to hear from DeMonte Martin, Dalton Harper, as well as Eli Faircloth. So guys that are really taking that next step for this Hedgesville program that finished 5-6 and six last year, trying to leave it better than it was. Yeah, watching this team practice, I think we're seeing a lot of the same things we saw when we came and watched last year's team, uh, and they were intense. I mean, they're they're working hard. You know, I was watching a lot of the offensive line. Um, you know, those are some big kids like Hedgesville typically has, and but they're not just big. They look big and athletic, and I think that's something that uh, the players will probably stress to us is that they've gotten a little bit quicker this year. Uh, they're they're moving a little bit better than they were in the past and uh, that's something that maybe was separating a Hedgesville from some of the other teams around the area they had talent obviously they have you know big strong kids but maybe didn't have that speed and quickness and over the last two years that's kind of developed that's why we see the spread offense obviously they're trying to replace their quarterback but Harper got some experience last year so I think he's the perfect guy to come in and transition from Jackson Rivest. And we'll see how this team rolls this year. It's going to be a tougher schedule, so you know, I'm intrigued to see how the Eagles fare. You mentioned schedule. We'll just get right into it. Obviously, we've mentioned on the Sports Mix multiple times that uh, the EPAC, I, I believe it was the EPAC athletic directors, got together and decided that uh, they wanted to change the scheduling concept of how it was scheduled to kind of mirror, I guess you'd say, a college schedule where it's non-conference up front and then conference back, you, you back schedule the conference game. So that changes the way things are. And you'll hear later on from Hedgesville Eagles head coach Matt Faircloth. But obviously it's been a staple in the area where that first Thursday of the season, it's Hedgesville versus Washington. That's no more as uh, the scheduling obviously changes uh, so where they always had a team to play week one, now they didn't, and luckily they found somebody, and it's going to be a tough task for them. They're going to go up to the island uh, where they you'll later hear later on from uh, you know some of the players they want to end their season on the island as they'll take on Wheeling Park week one. Uh, that'll be a huge game. Week two, they host Kaiser. Week three, they're at Hampshire. Week four, they travel to Herbert Hoover, who just got a whole new sports complex uh, due to the flooding down there, the double-A runner-up from last year. Then they'll be at Washington week five, week six at Jefferson. They'll host Liberty, I believe, out of Virginia. Week seven, week eight, they'll host Musselman. Week nine, they're on a bye. Week 10, they'll host Martinsburg. And week 11, they'll wrap things up hosting Spring Mills. Uh, that's a, an interest, a, a big schedule for them. I think it's, honestly, I feel like it's an upgrade to their schedule last year. Oh, absolutely. Already looking at just last year's records for these teams. Only three of them under 500. That's Spring Mills, Washington, and Hampshire. The rest are 500 or above for a total overall record of 64 and 48. So you look at this Hedgesville team this year, last year that 5-6 and six team just barely got into the playoffs as the 16 seed. So there might be some people around here that say they just barely got in. They didn't deserve it. This year, looking at this schedule, if they want to get into the playoffs, they're absolutely going to have to earn that spot into the top 16 because of how good this schedule is. Yeah, they really will. And, you know, we, we talked about guys that are graduating, Tanner Matthew, Jackson Ruiz, Braylon Connor, Kyle Whaley, Eli Faircloth. But you had a name to the list not on the team this year that was on the team last year. That's Xavier Kirk. He decides that he wants to focus on his one true love, and that's basketball. Uh, we've heard from 
Coach Church. We've heard from Coach Faircloth as uh, you know the, how much that kid loves basketball, and uh, so he's you know he's hanging up his cleats at least for this season. Uh, that's going to impact them really, I think, in the defensive back area, guys. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, he was one of their top defensive backs last year. Um, you know, and, and with the many wide receivers that they lost from last year's team, he was probably going to fill a big role on the offense. But, you know, they gained some guys as well. So, you know, you throw Young in there, maybe he can play a similar role to Kirk and, and replicate what he was able to do. But anytime you lose a great athlete like that, you know, it plays a factor. But I think overall, Hedgesville, going back to their schedule real quick, you know, in the past, playoffs was a goal. Now it's the expectation. And I think that has changed for Hedgesville. So can they find a way to get to five, six wins and, and get in? I think they could, but it's going to be tough. You're going to have to win probably all of your non-conference games to stand a chance, or at least three out of the four. I don't think they're going to beat Wheeling Park. Uh, but I guess it would be four out of the five uh, that they need to win, I think, to, to have a great chance at it. Um, but, you know, We'll have to wait and see and, and take it one week at a time. I think this is a you know a talented team, and we'll see if these new guys can fill some spots of need because obviously you lose you know Eli Faircloth, yeah Eli Faircloth from last year, and you're going to have Aiden Fleming come in. Not quite the same player, but you kind of get something similar. You know, you get a lineman for a lineman and a wide receiver DB for a wide receiver DB that you're losing that are some of the big pieces. But uh, I just think that. You know, Hedgesville's going to try to meet those expectations. It's going to be tough, but I think they do have a talented roster, and, you know, I think they have a good coach, obviously, and Coach Faircloth that's really built this thing up from winless to where they are now. Yeah, I mean, I think they're definitely a five, six, seven, potentially eight-win team this year if they can, you know, turn the tide in some games. Uh, but, Colin, obviously the EPAC is the EPAC, as we say in every sport every year. Um, it's definitely, I think, builds for a, a tougher EPAC this year when you add Hedgesville into the mix of, of teams that have not only, uh, you know, were in the playoffs last year, but have gotten better on paper from where they were last year. Yeah, we had the opportunity to see four teams from the Eastern Panhandle represent this side of the state in the AAA state playoffs out of the final 16. Having a quarter of those was fantastic, one of them being Hedgesville. Spring Mills, a team that we'll get to later on in this EPAC All Access, a team that wants to be one of those teams in the playoffs. So could we see five? It'd be even tougher, obviously, and I don't even know if we're going to see four again this year because there's so many question marks. And I think the biggest question mark is truly how Dalton Harper will be as the starting quarterback for this Hedgesville squad because Jackson Ruest did it all last year. He was the pure athlete here at Hedgesville. We saw football played. They make it to the state playoffs. Basketball, he plays. Got to see it there too. Baseball, he played. Got to see it there too. Haven't seen that from Dalton Harper, so he really needs to step up. We know that he's not an athlete like that, but he's still an athlete on the field. We got to see him in many different positions last year, whether it was the quarterback in that Spring Mills game that you've already mentioned, Spencer, where Jackson goes down, he changes over to wide receiver. Dalton Harper leads them back to get that win in crazy fashion against Spring Mills. We got to see him as a wide receiver too, but Nick? I was going to say, I mean, Harper's obviously the quarterback. You know, a lot of the, the pressure goes on him to execute, but I don't think you can come in and expect him to be Jackson Ruest in terms of, I don't know if he'll be as good of a, as a thrower as Jackson, but he can do a lot of different things back there. The key for this team's success offensively, I think, will be to be a little bit more balanced and get a better running game. They were expecting things out of Whaley last year. He got hurt. I think that made them an even more spread offense than, than they probably wanted to be. And we know Hedgesville football usually is about being a big physical team up front and running the football. So I think if they can get more out of their ground game, that could allow the Eagles to take off. And I think injuries come into play here. We saw last year, you mentioned Whaley, we saw that Musselman game. I, I had to call for that game, and I was talking to Coach Faircloth all week, and he was like, DeMonte Martin might not play. Xavier Kirk might. It was just, it seemed like that wide receiver position, although they, they impressed last year, it just seemed like the injuries later in the season 
uh, you know, could have been the swing in some of those games for them, where they could have last year, they could have had six or seven wins, potentially. It just, the injuries late last season, uh, I think, maybe hurt them when it came to where they could have seated, been seated with wins in the conference, because I think if they had a healthy full receiver core, they had a better shot at that Musselman game. Yeah, I mean, you look at these teams in the EPAC, obviously Martinsburg is going to be your number one. Just based off of last year, I think you have to put Washington at the bottom, but then those middle pack teams, can a Hedgesville flip some of these results against Jefferson and Musselman, and can they hold off an ascending Spring Mills team? I mean, that's going to be the key to their success because they're probably not going to top a Martinsburg this year. Yeah. But, uh, and I, I would say it, it would be a big jump for Washington to jump ahead of Hedgesville. So can they, you know, flip some of these games against Jefferson and Musselman and continue to hold off Spring Mills? That's going to really determine if they're going to be a playoff team. Plus their non-conference is a little bit tougher. So there's a lot of things that are going into it. Uh, but I think – the way this program has gotten better each year, you have to believe that Coach Faircloth is going to get this team in. I, I just feel like that's the difference right there. I think they've gotten better each year. They've gotten a change in their culture and their mentality. I think that could be the difference to get them in. All right, well, we're, we are just getting started here on this first edition of the EPAC All Access for 2023. Uh, later on, we'll be joined by head coach Matt Faircloth, quarterback Dalton Harper, receiver DeMonte Martin, lineman. Levi Faircloth, and then uh, we'll have a mic'd up segment with head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth, and then we'll come wrap things up. But you're tuned in to EPAC All Access on TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. We'll be back for more from Hedgesville Eagles practice next. The W.B. Hospitals East Foundation is excited to announce the inaugural Dr. Frank Sabato Jr. Pickleball Classic to be held on Saturday, September 23rd at the W. Randy Smith Recreation Center in Inwood. Join us for a fun round-robin style pickleball tournament with start times at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. Awards ceremony and lunch will follow. To register as a player or sponsor, call 304-264-1223 or go to wbmedicine.org backslash berkeley backslash giving to download the registration form. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a newer used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Nothing goes better with football than chicken. From Pee Wee to the big boys to the wing T formation, a hearty meal of 12 pieces for $12 is just what the boys need to be at their best. Oh my, fumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Omaha! Rocks, 12 pieces of chicken, just $12. Welcome back into this edition of EPAC All Access. We're now joined by fourth-year Hedgesville Eagles head coach Matt Faircloth. And uh, Coach Faircloth, year four for you. It's been improvement in every season since year one. Uh, what, have you liked to, what have you liked so far from your guys? Ah, the commitment. I mean, uh, you know, over the last, you know, three years, it's been growing and growing, and the culture's getting better and better. And so for us, numbers are, you know, increasing. Uh you know, we're, we everybody knows we got some transfers in, and at the end of the day, I mean, out here we're always going. Right, right now, these kids are grinding. I mean, ever since June, we used flex days uh, the last two weeks to get ready so we could start off in helmets and shoulder pads this week. Coach, for the first time since the 2018-2019 season, your program was able to make the playoffs, going five and six last year. What's the expectations that you've set so far into this year's team? 
I mean, once you, once you get into the playoffs, the goal is to always to get in and give yourself a chance. So for us, you know, with all we got coming back, I mean, we lose some key pieces with Jackson and Tanner and Eli, uh, but I think we got some guys, you know, that are ready to step in in those spots. And you know, we've been developing with them the last three years. So I think moving in, moving some guys into some different spots, some different roles, and you know, for us, I think it's still it's still it's still playoffs for us. And you mentioned the loss of Jackson bringing in Dalton Harper this year to be your quarterback. He got a little bit of time uh, in that Spring Mills game last year when Jackson got hurt. Uh, how do you think that, that having that experience is going to help him going into this year? I mean, I think any time you throw a young kid into a, a game in that magnitude, because anybody knows Spring Mills and us, it, I mean, that's a big rivalry game. And uh, I mean, he came in and did some things really well in that final drive to go out and win us a game. Um, you know, and he's got, you know, before that he got some reps the year before, just it was minimal. Um, you know, he played a lot of running back for us, so we know he can run the football. So uh, arm, arm strength really developed in the offseason. He's gotten stronger. He's a little thicker. I mean, he's, he's really – his lower half is pretty stacked. Um, so for us, see, we've seen what we wanted to see out of him in, in the three-week period. So since we haven't seen anything uh – we know from Jackson last year, your transition into that spread offense because of his arm with Dalton Harper now at the quarterback spot, solidifying that quarterback one, it seems like, this yep. year as well for you guys. Are we still going to see more of that spread offense, or are you guys kind of adapting to how his style is? No, I mean, Dalton's been playing in this system since he was seven years old. So for us, there's no need to change, uh, you know, with the skill guys we got on the outside. Uh, I think it, it, that, it makes the run game easier for us when we got the athletes we got on the edge. So for us, we're going to stick with what, what got us there last year. And looking at the schedule for you this year, you open up at Wheeling Park. Uh, new additions obviously on your schedule. Then you'll go to Herbert Hoover later in the season. Uh, the out of conference obviously with Liberty and Hampshire and uh, Kaiser. Uh, those games changed from last year to this year. Uh, what was it like getting games this year? And, and, and I guess incorporating into this question, We've talked to you all about it before, but the new conference scheduling, uh, I guess, formula, how does how did that impact getting games? Well, anybody that schedules high school football games know that week one's a hard one to find. And, you know, we were always locked in for the last, you know, 10, probably 10 plus years with that Washington game. And that was a big game for us on Thursday night because it made Washington and Hedgesville the, the focal point of the, the EPAC. Uh, and when they redid it and realigned some stuff, it sort of made things hard to schedule. but. At the end of the day, you know, Wheeling Park needed a game. Uh, you know, and Doc does a really good job up there at Wheeling Park. Uh, he needed a game. We needed a game. Let's play it. Let's get into those transfers now. As uh, we kind of touched on earlier, you guys have brought a few in. Um, two big ones being Gavin Young as well as Aiden Fleming. Just uh, even though it's kind of been only a sh short moment of time, just talk about how much they've already impacted this team. I mean, you know, Aiden came in, and he was a leader from the jump. Uh, and Gavin's a quiet kid. He just comes in, he grinds, and, you know, he fits in here. Aiden fits in here. And, you know, I've coached I've coached Gavin before, and, you know, I've known Aiden since he was seven, eight years old playing in EPYFL. So it, it, was, it wasn't like a big surprise. It was just more or less, you know, he, he wanted an opportunity, so he came out here. And, you know, right now he's becoming a leader for us, and, and Gavin's going to do big things, I think, for us for sure. And when you look at a guy like Gavin Young, obviously he's going to come in with a couple more years in your program. Aiden Fleming coming over for his senior season. With Gavin getting this year under his belt, and then it could potentially be a big star for you in the next year or two. Yeah, I mean, we uh, losing Bra like Braylon Connor for us last year. Braylon was a, a, a big piece for us because I think Braylon put us over the top. And, I, you know, I think Gavin is that spark plug for us right now with, you know, with DeMonte, uh, Nate No, and a couple others. But I think Gavin's the spark plug. And I think he's going to be the one that takes a lot of stress off of the big-time guy of DeMonte and, and being able to hit him underneath. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't think anybody's really seen what Gavin Young can do. We talked about this last year and kind of one of our final questions was what was really the theme or your team motto that you're trying to instill into your team this year last year it was the playoffs or bust was something that it seemed like really resonated from you word for word and telling your team telling that to us this year what is it uh you know we got high we got high expectations and the one thing that we're going off of this year is high expectations don't 
don't go far with low standards. And so for us, we're keeping the standard up. We made the playoffs. We're going to look to get back into it. The senior class left it better than they found it. The goal for this senior class is to leave it better than they found it. So for us, it's just taking a step every year of, you know, we got expectations to get into the playoffs. That's our expectation. And if we hold the standard of what we're trying to do here, then we'll give ourselves a shot at the end of the season to be in the playoffs. And when you look down towards the end of that season, obviously, as coach, you're going to go week by week by week. But those last two games on the schedule, Martinsburg and then Spring Mills, obviously last year it seemed like you and Spring Mills were the teams that were fighting for that final playoff spot in the area. Uh, how huge is that to have? I mean, obviously you talked about the differences in, in the way the scheduling's been, but have that game the last week. Obviously, you don't want to be fighting for a playoff spot, but if they're fighting for a playoff spot, you know you guys can keep, keep them out of it. I can tell you, we could both be 0-9 going into that game. It's going to be a slugfest. Um, but at the end of the day, I know they're going to be pretty good this year. They return a lot. Uh, so for us, you know, we want to stay ahead of the head of the ball, and, and we want to have ourselves set up before we go into those final two games to, to hopefully get into the playoffs before we need those two games. But at the end of the day, I think Spring Mills is going to be right there on the cusp. That's for sure. Coach, we've already mentioned guys like Aiden Fleming, Gavin Young, Dar Dalton Harper, as well as DeMonte Martin. Who are some guys that maybe have been flying under our radar that we should be really uh, looking forward to this year for your team? I mean, Nate No. Uh, Nate No, for sure. Um, you know, he's a kid that's – he doesn't know how athletic he is. Uh, the other day he didn't have a ride to practice, so he, he jogged here a mile and a half, and we were timing the 40s. He jogged here a mile and a half, jumped straight in the line, and ran a 4 a four five eight. You know, and he doesn't even know it. He don't even know what he did. So him, uh, you know, Brett Patterson, uh, Darrell Johnson. Darrell coming off the edge is an animal. Uh, Josh Barrett. And then, I mean, our, our guy, our go-to guy that's going to lead this team is Levi. And, I mean, at the end of the day, Levi is our highest ranked right now, number one O-lineman in the class at 25. Um, and then with Fleming and, and Gavin and, and, you know, all these guys, Jake Young's ranked as a linebacker. They just – we got to put it all together. And – those guys, they always fly under the radar because, you know, I seen the other day that people were putting us in a category on some forums of, you know, some teams that we, we beat pretty well. And so I think that sort of gave this team a, a different mindset. All right, I think that's all, all from us. And uh, thanks for coming on to another season here as we start our second season of EPAC All Access. And uh, we'll be seeing you a few times this season. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it, fellas. Most Hedgesville Eagles head coach Matt Faircloth will be back for more VPAC All Access next. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Hello? We're here again three times in the past two days. You're where? At Bill Jewelers. Look. Can Mom hear you? No, she's in a diamond coma. Get her the pendant or I will. Hey, that's my credit card. What? Can't hear you, Dad. You're breaking up. It's going to take more than a crying baby to wake her out of this diamond coma. You're going to need a mega dose of jewelry from Bechtel Jewelers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to call my parents. Dad, come over. The purse gets done. The Traeger Connected Experience. Everything you need for epic flavor. And then some. Shop now and save at Orsini's today. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. 
Welcome back here into this edition of EPAC All Access Live from Hedgesville Eagles football camp. We're now joined by star wide receiver DeMonte Martin. It's been a big summer for you. Yes, uh, a lot of camps this summer, some offers coming to you. What's yes, this summer been like compared to other summers for you? This summer has been like no other. I mean, my mindset changed completely after the last playoff game. Seeing that score really didn't make me it just, it just did something to me, so I just started working, and after that, I just it was I just took off like I'm not stopping. That's just my mindset. You uh, leading this wide receiver core, it looks like this yeah. year um, for sure, with a young core behind you as well, but some guys that are really talented. Just talk about, I guess, uh, kind of how you guys have one helped each other, and then two learned now with Dalton Harper as the quarterback. I mean, the younger guys, we've helped them a lot. Like leading by example. Even guys like on our age level, like we've both helped each other and we all help each other because we're all surrounded. We're by each other. We pray, uh, work in outside of football, outside of this. Just basically like team bonding and stuff like that. Like it's bigger than football. Like if you don't got a spiritual connection with your teammates or like a friendly, like it's not going to work out. Like you have to build chemistry off the field and on the field. So that's what we've been working on. And, uh, you know, how different is it going to be this year playing with Dalton rather than Jackson? And, you know, I think it's probably good for Dalton that he got that taste again in that Spring Mills game. Do you yes, think sir. he's ready for this year? Oh, he's ready. He's been working all season. You know, he's – everybody sleeps, sleeps on him, but it's going to be okay because he's been working. Like, nobody's going to really know when you put the work in. So, playing with Dalton is going to be a, a big key this year. You guys have high expectations, especially after making the playoffs for the first time in yes, a few sir. years last year. Um, what, I guess, is the excitement just within the program for you guys for this season? Well, it's going to be exciting. You feel me? I mean, nobody really expects us to make it again, but we're going to shock everybody. So it's been exciting just getting the playoff experience so we know like what, what it feels like. I've never personally been in the playoffs, but that was my first year playing high school football and I made it to the playoffs. So that's a big confidence for like the team and stuff. And obviously looking at the schedule this year, it looks a little bit different when it comes to weeks 1 through 10 for your team, obviously through all the teams in the EPAC with the new scheduling. Yes, you'll sir. start out the season at Wheeling Park, then you'll be home against Kaiser at Hampshire. You'll go to Herbert Hoover, who's a good team in double A. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you think that the scheduling is going to help you guys out of conference, knowing how good the EPAC is? It's going to help us prepare for games that we need to be prepared for. Like certain games we're going to have to be prepared for. So playing out, like – out of conference teams is going to help us adjust to like different stuff that the offense does in defense. What are some of the goals that you have in place for your team as well as just yourself for this season? Make the playoffs again, but go deeper into the playoffs, not just be like a round one bus. Like I want to make it all the way. I want to like change this program around. I want everybody to see like Hedgesville is just not Hedgesville. Hedgesville is it's deeper than that. You know, Coach Matt puts so much into this program, so why not pay him back with just going deeper into the playoffs? Coach Faircloth mentioned that this last senior class, the class of 2023, they left it better than they got it. Yes, sir. You as it, where you are, you obviously want to improve it even more. Yes, sir. Um, what do you think, what, what would you say this season means for you personally uh, with, you know, the things that you've gotten able to do this summer and, and how far you've made it in your football career so far? Oh, this season personal. I'm just going to say that. No words. Just personal. You already have two Division One offers, one to UNLV, one to Charlotte as well. Uh, just talk about, I guess, that side of the process for you and how tough it's been trying to navigate, trying to get yourself out there, being I'm, from Hedgesville. I'm still shocked. I mean, I didn't really expect to get offers, but I was going to expect to keep putting the work in. But the offers came in, and it just was a mind-blowing. Like, I didn't really expect it. So I'm still processing it now. Like, I'm, it's a dream that I've always had as a kid. You mean, like, I've always dreamed that. You know, so one promise I always made to my mom was, is that I'm going to make it. And I'm a, I'm, I meant that. So I'm still processing this whole thing. All right, Devontae Martin, our guest, wide receiver for Hedgesville. So we're out here at the Hedgesville High School Eagles football camp. That'll do it for this segment of EPAC All Access. Thanks for coming on, DeMarte. Yes, Devontae, best of luck this season. We'll Thank be you. at a few games for you. And we'll be back after this break. You're tuned into EPAC All Access on TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. 
I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. At Carter Myers Automotive, what we do today will tomorrow become what we've done. That's why Owners Just Do More no longer defines us. Our work is never done because what we live by doesn't have a finish line. We care. Our company of owners is moving lives forward every day by finding more ways to care before, during, and after your purchase. Because when you're happy, so are we. Carter Myers Automotive. Proud to be the owners who just care more. You've been in an accident. A distracted driver put texting over safety. Your injuries, loss of income, and medical bills can last a long time, even a lifetime. Our job is to try and secure justice that will protect you and your family for the rest of your life. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. We are the Skinner Brothers. Most folks only need a lawyer once or twice in their lives. And when they're injured or in an accident, most people don't know what to do. We get it, it can be overwhelming. Nobody likes to be told, you need a lawyer, but that's why we're here. We wanna get you back to your normal life and help you recover. So if you or loved one has been in an accident, give us a call. Let us figure out how we can get you compensation. Reach us at SkinnerWins.com or Google Skinner Lawyers. We'll treat you like family. Welcome back to EPAC All Access live from Hedgesville Eagles football camp. We're now joined by offense defensive lineman Levi Faircloth. And uh, Levi, how's the summer been for you and your team? Uh, busy, very busy. Uh, I think mostly the weight rooms, what we've been doing. It's heavy. You can see that a lot of us are getting bigger, stronger, definitely faster than what we were last year. Last year you guys made the playoffs. Uh, just how much did that give you guys for a boost and some added motivation for this season? A lot. Uh, that four and six season really hurt because we should have got a better seed than – or we should have gotten the playoffs that year, four and six. And then five and five last year really, you know, put us to where we need to get every year. It's, so it's now the goal. And, uh, you know, we were talking with your dad earlier, Coach Matt Faircloth, and he said that it seems like – or we mentioned to him that every year there's just been a growth. And then, uh, you know, he mentioned last year's senior class, your brother and that senior class, uh, leaving the team better than they left it. And you, uh, going into your junior season this year, you've still got two more years to go. And obviously, you just mentioned it there, you want to get better than you were last year. Uh, when you look at the schedule this year, obviously the scheduling had to change, uh, not only because some of those – two-year contracts that with the teams expired but the changing of the way the EPAC schedule went uh, you had some new teams on the schedule you get to go up week one against Wheeling Park obviously a big triple-a team and then Herbert Hoover later on in the season huge uh, double-a team believe runner-up in double-a last year and then obviously the EPAC schedule uh, how do you think that uh, maybe the start of the season with the Wheeling Park will prepare you for your EPAC schedule Wheeling Park's gonna be a tough team um, I think that's that's the game we need that's the game that we need to get to playoffs. That's the game that's going to set the season straight. You guys, with this line, adding in Aiden Fleming, one of the transfers, and also the guys coming back and getting stronger, as you mentioned, just tell us, I guess, about the camaraderie and how good this line will be this year. I definitely think we're going to be a better rushing team this year. Uh, we still got to replace some – we still got to replace Eli, which is big. He's – He's really irreplaceable. But uh, I think our line should hold up this year. And, uh, you know, we talked about Aiden Fleming, but Gavin Young also coming in to boost your receiver core. Um, you know, and then you add DeMonte, who's gotten a UNLV offer this summer. Uh, what do you think that receiver core is going to be like this year, especially going into kind of year two of that spread offense? Uh, a lot of touchdowns. A lot of touchdowns and a lot of big plays from both those two. You also play on the defensive side of the ball. Which one, I guess, do you feel like is your strength on that line, defensive or offense? Which do you like more? My strength is definitely offensive. I can see a lot more, and I can help my team score. That's pretty much what, yeah. 
What are your goals uh, personally and for the team going into this season? Get a playoff win. Get a get a home playoff win. Home playoff win. Okay, home so you're doubling win. down on just a playoff win. You want to be home for game home one. playoff game. Like the sound of that. Like the sound of that, uh, Colin. Next one. I'm good. All right, well, that will do it here for this segment. Joined by Levi Faircloth, offense, defensive lineman for Edgesville Eagles. We'll be back more on EPAC All Access live from Hedgesville Eagles Camp. You're tuned in to EPAC All Access on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. We'll be back in two minutes. At the Berkeley County Health Department, our motto is prevent, promote, protect. Since 1935, our mission has been to provide clinical and environmental services to protect the health of the general public. We're committed to building public health in our community by offering a wide range of services, including blood pressure screening, breast and cervical screening, family planning, counseling, lab testing, and more. We perform health inspections to make sure the restaurants you visit are clean, and we prepare and coordinate plans to respond to all hazards. The Berkeley County Health Department, 122 Waverly Court, Martinsburg. You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a Control 4 system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. I'm Jonathan Bodwell, Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare and life insurance agency. We are here to help you navigate the Medicare maze. We represent all of the major carriers, and you do not pay any more to go through us than if you go directly through a carrier. But if you go through us, you have a local professional to help you with all your Medicare needs, not a voice that could be in some other part of the world. Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare agency. BodwellInsuranceSolutions.com or 304-283-0864. Welcome back to this edition of EPAC All Access. We're now joined by Hedgesville quarterback Dalton Harper. And Dalton, for you, last year you got you know a little splash in there in the in the game against Spring Mills where Jackson had to come out for a little bit and then ended up coming back in and playing receiver. How big was that game for you to be able to get some live reps in the game? I mean, it helped me out a lot. I mean, it was also a really exciting game too. So, I mean, that shows you just how good of a leader Jackson was last year stepping in and playing receiver for us too. Dalton, last year you were – Running back, receiver, got to see you sometimes at quarterback as well. This year you're going to be that quarterback number one. And just taking all that on to you for this season, I guess, how are you dealing with that leadership? I'm taking it really good. I'm trying to be as good as leaders I can be and try to lead the team. And, uh, you know, for you, you'll have another weapon this year. And Gavin Young, he comes in. You bring back DeMonte. Uh, and then, you know, Coach was talking about Nate No among some other guys. How big do you think this receiver core is going to be for you this year? I think it's going to be amazing. I think we got the best receiver core in the state, in my opinion. And with those guys then being the best receiving core in the state, what are some of the things uh, early on here that you guys have been working on together? Just been working timing, working concepts, and just been doing a lot of timing stuff with the receivers. And uh, Coach Faircloth mentioned that uh, – you guys kind of backloaded some of your flex days in order to get into pads right away. How big do you think that is for the development going into the season? Um, I mean, it helps us out a lot, too, not to get banged up or nothing. So I think it helps us, like, stay healthy, to help more players stay healthy. We just talked with Faircloth as well, uh, and that line being very big, very tough this year, it looks like, uh, for them with Aiden Fleming and a few others up there just with those guys in front of you I guess leading the way how much more comfortable will you be this year in that pocket? I should feel really comfortable in the pocket I feel like this year. Mm -hmm. Going into this season obviously last season five and five get that playoff berth unfortunately you all fall in that game finish five and six but it's been an improvement every season under coach Faircloth what are you looking forward to most from this season when it comes to your goals uh, personally and then for the team? Like Coach has been saying, we wanna, we're want playing at Wheeling Park. We will finish, we, we're on the island in the first game. We will finish there on the island this year. What are your strengths in that quarterback spot, and what are some things that have 
I guess you're still trying to grow on. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm mobile. I got a strong arm, and like I just got to work on like reading some defenses and coverages. I feel like. All right. All right. Well, I think that'll do it here for this segment of EPAC All Access. Thanks to Hedgesville Eagles quarterback Dalton Harper for hopping on. We'll be back for more EPAC All Access next. You're tuned into EPAC All Access on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. The 37th Community Wellness Screening Event, sponsored by Rotary of Martinsburg, with services provided by WVU Medicine, will be held Saturday, August 26, 6 to 10 a.m. at WVU Medicine Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation on Tavern Road in Martinsburg. Know your numbers. It's easy and convenient. No waiting in line. No doctor's appointment. Discounted screenings offered. Pre-registration required. Deadline to register is August 18th. Sign up today. Call 304-264-1223. Hi, it's Talk Radio WRNR and TV10 Spencer Dupuy. When I got into a car accident and needed to get another vehicle, I wanted to go somewhere I could trust. So I went to the Hefley Motor Company at 993 Hedgesville Road. As a first-time car buyer, I really didn't know what to expect. But at Hefley, they treated me like family. Every step in the process was seamless. Not only did they give me a great deal, but they also helped me secure an amazing interest rate. Now I know firsthand why Hefley has such a great reputation in this community. I ride with Hefley Motor Company, so you should too. Mommy, where does flavor come from? Well, um, when people love food, they cook it on a Traeger grill. Meat, corn, even the pie. <laughs> and then the Traeger does the rest, which brings everyone to celebrate this beautiful thing that they've created. Because when you share delicious food with your friends, that's the flavor of life. Shop now and save at Orsini's today. It's the excitement of NCAA Division II football on TV10 featuring the Shepherd University Rams. He'll throw it, it's intercepted by Harrison. Dante Harrison is Mr. Touchdown on defense. Join us on Saturday, September 2nd, as the Rams kick off the 2023 season against Southern Connecticut State at Rams Stadium. Kickoff is set for noon with pregame coverage beginning at 11.30 a.m. right here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. You know I wanted to pull it. Switch it. Switch it. One, three, five. Come this side, Kamari. This side, Kamari. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we're going, going dive left here. Here we go. Here we go. Set. Go. Line up. Hurry up, hurry up. Right here. You got a, what are you, one or a three? You're a one, right? Give me, uh, he's in a three right here. Give him a three. Three. One, five. Listen. Where's my back, you? All right, here we go. Ready. Set, go. There, good, good. Ethan, you got it. I'm going down the receiver. What's your re? What's your re? So, right. So, automatic, as soon as you go here, boom. All right. He stays. Throw it. He goes. Give it. Got me? Yeah. See it. See it. Get your eyes right to him. Give it. Hey, get to the mesh point, 42. Get to the mesh point. Here we go. Get around me. Get around me. Find it. Good. Hey, so right now, right now your intersection point, hey, you're, is on me. Got me? So when you get to me, you got to get up that scene, okay? When you get to me, you as soon as you come off him, push to them numbers. Okay, here we go. Do it again. Hey, where you coming? Right behind us? All right, here we go. Intersect. Intersect it now. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at that. Great job. Hey, so hey, all we're doing is we're finding an intersection point on that, okay? And that's normally where about two yards behind that backer, okay? Here go first, and you come up and push to the numbers, all right? Look, as soon as y'all get to me, it should be a plant and get to your brakes. Here we go. Get to me. Plant, hit your brake. Good. Good. Hey, good timing. Good timing. Hey, you get to me, plant and break. Got me? Let's go. 
Hey, you should take three steps. I want three big, fast steps. Get to me and then plant and break. Let's go. He's rolling. All right, here we go. Now, good. There you go, good. Hey, now, cross go. See how you, when you took it, DeMonte ran that flat, but you were right over top of him? That corner, if he sinks, can play both of you. Okay, so when he breaks here, take yours. I know it's hard because you can't see a pylon right now, but for you, that light pole. Okay, see that light pole there? The only light pole in the parking lot. Same group. Hey, just cause if they play, if they play, say they play quarters, that corner can split both of you. Okay, here we go. Right at the edge of the trees, got me? Here we go. He's good, let's go. Get to me, get to me. Now. There we go. Because, hey, we don't ever want to let a defender be able to play two of you. Good. Keep your feet moving, keep your feet moving. Good, good. There you go. Good. Hey, you see how much, like, when you keep your feet moving, man, you are, both of you are effective when you keep your feet moving. Oh, I'm living the dream, man. Every day I don't have to co coach offense anymore. Offense, offense is for the, the weak guys, ain't it? No. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Dalton. I don't even understand what you said. I figured. Oh, my. Oh, my. He woke up late. What? Did he wake up at all? Hey, I can't give you another one. Let's go, let's go. He wants another one. Jazzy said throw him the ball. Hold on real quick. Toss me on them balls. You throw that side. I got DeMonte. Let's go. I got you. Didn't even warm up off bicep surgery. It's like riding a bike. All right, I just want to make sure that was you. you better catch the ball, Farrell. You're on TV now. You drop it now, mom and dad are going to see it later. Pressure's on. Are you hoping that he he gives it to the running back or are you hoping he throws it to you? Which one you want? Which one you want here? Hey, do one more. Do one more. Ah, you got lucky. You got lucky. We good? 